it's been a while since you first signed here. Back, looking back to, I think, 2017-18, you first, first came over. What's your reflections on the last seven seasons? Um, it's crazy because I um, came over with dad and the family. Um, well, that was the plan. And then um, started off really, really good. Um, the people here really made us feel very quickly, very welcome. Um, and then he, obviously, you know, with COVID stuff happened and they moved back. And um, I think just the fact that I enjoyed playing for this club so much um, made me want to stay, um, even though it was the, the natural thing is to, uh, you know, I'm going to go with, with the family or whatever back home. And um, like you say, it's been, what, seven seasons now and, and here we are still. So um, it's been great. It's been um, the players, the, the staff, um, the people, the coaches, everyone has been really, really good to me. Um, it's basically like second home. So that's what makes things, when it comes to decisions, so, so tough. What was it about Gloucester that, that makes you feel so at home? Even though, like you said, your family's moved back, um, but you still had the enough connection here, enough friends and, and people that made you think, like, actually, you can still you can still play your rugby here and enjoy it. There's a, I think there's a lot of factors to it, but the the, the two for me was probably the fact that um, when we came with the first time, and that's it. This is a club that loves its rugby, um, and then when you started playing, you can see how much it means for the people. Everyone always just after the game say, "Oh, couldn't wait for the weekend's game and all that," and then you just know how much it means to them. Um, and then when my dad and everyone left and you kind of felt during COVID very, very lonely, if you can say it like that. Um, you go through a period where you kind of get through that toughness um, without them being here. And obviously doing it at lost uh, um, the period we went through, you kind of just even feel more, more closer to the club because that's basically your second family. If you don't have that family here with you the whole time. So um, those are probably the two big factors for me um, for, for staying. And, and let's be, I guess, let's be a little bit frank. It, it was always going to be difficult when, obviously, your dad, Johan, left the club. And um, that was obviously a, bit, a big moment for you to, you, you came here with him. Uh, he wasn't here anymore. But talk to us, I guess, about your relationship and the conversations you've since had with George since he's come in. And, and he's made you feel just as much as part of, part of the, the team. Yeah, 100%. I think, um, I think they've got, in a lot of ways, very similar ways they see the game. Um, they, the, the, one of the first things he said to me is, listen, um, whatever you do, keep doing what you're doing. I don't want you to change or do something different. Um, he just challenged me on a few things from, from a working perspective, um, getting around the pitch a bit more and those sort of things. But other than that, it was very, he was always very honest with me. And um, obviously having a coach and your dad and that leave and you, you kind of wonder, where you're going to stand with the next coach coming in because my dad was always honest and straight up with me and uh, George has just kind of been straight up and honest with me from the beginning and kind of made it easy for me to stay on and yeah it's been a few years now with with our relationship going and becoming a bit more of a senior player in the in the team as well so you you end up playing with players we were all fairly young when we started going through this process and now we're all a bit of seen as the older guys um, even though we're not that old um, you kind of settle in as well so trust all around starts starts growing and you talked about that that kind of senior role within the team you, you've definitely been looked towards as a, a leader in the squad and you've deputized for for Lutz when he's not been playing you've kind of been the, the first name with the captain next to you so how much do you enjoy that part of it as well now yeah, obviously, for, my, for me, it's whatever role you play in the team, you need to kind of be a leader in that role. So um, I look at things in that way that if you put in that position, it's not doing anything different. It's just doing what you always do, do it really well and trying to lead by example and uh, now and then have, a, have something to say or be, be a bit more honest in the game or before the game, try to get the boys up. But... Um, being being South African, um, 
and, and speaking English is sometimes not the easiest way, so I go straight into trying to do it through action. So, um, yeah. And finally, I, I guess one thing you touched on earlier, your relationship with the fans. Um, you always, you know, win or lose, you're out there and you're enjoying it and speaking with the fans. How much do you kind of cherish, I guess, that, that relationship that you've built with them? Yeah, it's, it's probably the thing I enjoy the most because um, obviously growing up as a kid, seeing your dad play um, and having players he played against and, and you're growing up and you idolise people and you enjoy the games and you want to speak to the players and stuff. Um, and being around that from, from a young age, I kind of know the same feeling that some of those fans have. And especially when you win, they want to be involved. They want to feel part of that win as well. So, I mean, the least we can do is just have that little chat with them after the game. Um, I mean, they did. They took their time out of the day to come and watch us play. Win or lose, they, they, they will be there. Um, home, home games and away. So, um, it's just to take that extra 20, 15 minutes just to have a chat with them. Um, just even a, a handshake sometimes. Um, sometimes some of them want to have a chat with you. Um, so yeah, it's, I enjoy that sort of thing because I know growing up I enjoyed speaking to players and when they took time speaking to me, so I see it in that way, so I enjoy it.